I'm getting ready to install aftermarket stereo head unit in my 1990 E30. Mine has just a basic system without amplifier. I didn't do this. This I bought it like this. But what what you will get is this will be all wrapped up in uh, in that BMW cloth tape and it will be confusing because there's that uh, potentiometer resistor right here that splits the two speakers left and right so let's just get to it so what I did I just unwrap this so you'll get your once you wrap when you're looking like this it looks confusing but once you unwrap that tape you'll get you'll this you'll get four speakers you'll get four speakers see one two three four alright so you got these e type these types of wires let me just tell you what they are now the white one the fat white one is power antenna it gets 12 volts from the stereo to get the antenna going up and down next will be brown this brown wire right here that's ground goes directly to the ground all right violet gray wire is your 12 plus from the key once the key is on you get the 12 power from that violet gray so that's going to be this wire right here violet gray next one will be the light switch wire gray red so it's this one gray red once you turn on the your white uh, your once you turn on your lights you'll get uh, 12 volts right here and, and if you got one of those better units it'll dim the light on the unit on the head deck the next one will be red green red green that is your 12 volt directly from the battery or from the fuse let's move to the speakers so see these two there's two blue ones and two uh, yellow ones yellow ones will be left they are left left side so front left speaker yellow brown will be your negative front left speaker and yellow red will be your positive for the left front speaker then the same thing for the blue ones blue blue brown with blue black will be your rear right speaker and the blue black will be a positive rear right and you have your blue with the brown and the red wires so blue brown wire wire with red stripe and a brown stripe that will be a front right speaker and blue brown wire will be your negative front right and uh, blue red will be your positive front right so I have the basic system I don't have the amplified system nor the premium system so what I did I just installed five and a half inch Pioneer speaker in here and this stock I love the, the stock cover because it's got this wire mesh it prevents any any type of debris going in the inside the speaker inside this cone and creating all sorts of noise problems and also shields the speaker from the sun I like that but a six and a half inch speaker with mild modification can fit in here and get you better no better uh, sound but because I already have these speakers they sound great I'm just gonna use them and not spend any more money this is the type of speaker that comes stock on the basic system so it's 8, 8 ohm 25 watt BMW brand speaker surprisingly it sounds really good even though this one is so old it still sounds good reasonably good for the type of speaker that it is but for the fronts I like to use these these are from um, E34 from like a 93 to 95 E34 speakers it's a Nokia 40 watt speaker it's a really high quality speaker and like I like to use it in the front 
because if you use the aftermarket one with the tweeter uh, you're not going to be able to close this panel properly so it's going to bulge out that's why I like to use that speaker and it sounds great and it can handle the power from a aftermarket 50 watt ti times 4 uh, head deck before installing the stereo permanently inside I like to replace I like to check these bulbs that's right here it illuminates these numbers for the AC because if you, if you don't check that and you install the stereo and you see the bulb is out you have to remove the stereo again to replace the bulb this is how it looks once I had everything soldered insulated testing it before installing before pushing in the CD player I like to inspect this fabric right here what that does is supports the rear of the CD player prevents it from flapping around and also I make sure the the harness goes above it and does not interfere with this shaft right here for the AC vent control from this angle you can see how that fabric is supporting rear of the stereo why did I chose this Kenwood CD player because it it doesn't have ob obnoxious lights flashing it actually has these red lights right here that match the factory red lights all around and also it's a quality quality deck uh, I believe it's 22 watts a channel I also had this CD player sitting around so I just used it instead of just I refuse to spend the seventy dollars for a newer unit maybe that has a Bluetooth but I don't I don't use the phone when I'm driving so I just use a USB right here memory put the music that I like and that's it and listen to the radio that's all folks till next video